Hey, Dr. Karen here. Welcome to another edition of the Spiritual Medicine Digest. So a little bit of a rough night last night as uh, I started getting some major detox symptoms, which is very unusual for me. Uh, but uh, it's one of those nights where I pretty much had to start testing what the heck was going on because nothing nothing that I was doing was alleviating the symptoms all that well. So as I'm sucking on my, you know, Chinese medicine uh, lozenges for my sore throat and post-nasal drip and so on and so forth, I get to testing. So what I found out was pretty interesting was that um, last week we talked about the energetic body and the energetic body not being on par with the ascension scale of, say, the spiritual body or at least you know, not being uh, within two points of that ascension scale. Uh, this week, it's more about the energetic body and its relationship to the other energetic bodies of the other selves in alternate timelines. When I checked how happy was that energetic relationship with my other energetic bodies, uh, I usually like to check the least happy just so I get the lowest number. I got like 22% or something super low like that. Now the other bodies like the mental body, the emotional body, spiritual body, dimensional body, etc., those relationships were actually higher but not 100% either. So there is apparently uh, no positive morphic field yet uh, related to that. So I went ahead and made one <laughs> and infused those, uh, those instructions into my Ascension tools, including Ascension 2, Deep Healing 2 and 4, and Awaken Your Superpower. So you can just ask for that download if you have any of those products. So what it is is the... Um, making the relationship between all of our various different bodies throughout all our various lives happy. So we want 100% happy. So you can check how happy is your energetic body relationship with your alternate selves, you know, and you can do that for the mental body, et cetera, et cetera. So after I did that, um, I got that my energetic body relationship was like 92%. So not yet 100. So what we normally ask in topic and healing is, is that it? Like, is is it just uh, having to process? That's why it's not 100%. Or is it because something else needs to heal first? And I got that there was something else that needed to heal first. So in asking those questions, I got that there's two things that needed to heal first in order to get my energetic body relationship happy with my alternate selves. Number one was the multiversal grid. So there are grids between, uh, there are grids within each universe, energetic grids, and then there's um, uh, relationships between those grids, is my understanding. So that needed to be healed. So I went ahead and did that. And then the other thing that needed healed was just general relationships in the entire Infiniverse. I know that sounds so huge, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm like, okay. Um, so so we, we went ahead and did that. So what happens is that with Ascension upgrades, that there are some things that need to be readjusted or realigned, um, recalibrated, whatever you want to call it, with each Ascension upgrade. And we're getting a lot of upgrades. So it's not surprising that things shift. You might go from one minute feeling completely fine to the next minute feeling like you're coming down with the flu. You know? And I know for me, when I woke up, uh, I was not to mention snoring. Um, <laughs> my joints were aching as well. So very detoxy, not, not like fluey, but just like kind of stiff. And so when that happens and uh, make a note of this, if you haven't heard this stuff before, um, when the, there's stiffness, inflammation in the joints or the muscles, fascia, I will often check number one, hydration, and number two, minerals. So in hydration, we can ask how well am I processing water and hydration? We want that to be 100%. And here's the thing, you might get 95, and that sounds great, right? But if you have a high susp suspicion, you can actually ask, um, how many types of cells in my body aren't hydrating at at least 95%? And then you might get one or two. So I did get that there was uh, a problem with one of the cells. I think it was like the mucosal cells or something like that, which actually are the ones that produce all the, the mucus. So the other thing, the mineral levels, um, the processing of minerals includes uh, absorption, assimilation, utilization, distribution, and also concentration. There are some times where we have to concentrate minerals 
for certain cells. And one of those things sometimes gets a little glitchy during Ascension upgrades. So with each Ascension upgrade, sometimes you have to rebalance your mineral processing. So I was asking Source and the guide team, hey, can, can we do you know a general rule or or healing to automatically do this with each ascension now in the past the answer has been no and this time the answer was yes but we could not ask for hydration and mineral uh, processing issues simultaneously uh, that we couldn't get that automatically happening immediately like within like minutes or seconds uh, whenever an ascension would hit see the difference is is when we pay attention to what we are asking to be healed, then it heals very, very quick. Our attention basically supercharges it, make it super fast. But when we're asking for the God team to automatically do healing on it, when our attention is not there, um, it takes longer, sometimes six days to download something. So we got recently that we're able to ask ahead of time for something to be done in future ascensions. But as far as I can tell, at least from you know my testing, and you can check and let me know what happens for you, is that, uh, for example, I can't do a reboot and reset 2.0 for the entire physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, energetic, dimensional body, all of its parts, all at once, automatically, and have the God team do that with every ascension without me having to ask for that. But last night I did get that we could focus on a system and ask for that. It's almost like when the complexity is much greater uh, at this time, we're not able to ask for it to all be automatic in the future for whatever reason. <laughs> uh, and the reason I got was that because you need to go to higher levels of ascension. So, so you may ask, you know, the guide team to automatically reset and reboot 2.0, your respiratory system and all components, you know, and that would be one order you know, a standing order. So every time ascension occurs, that happens immediately. Then you would focus on the next system and the next system. And funny, because I, I was doing this last night and um, I was like, did I miss anything? <laughs> so I'm testing and sure enough, I did. I miss, I actually missed the immune system and the fascial system. Uh, and I have another system that is not really in the books as a system, but it's called, the, for those of us that have ascension weight and fluid, we call it the fluid uh, management system. So these are some of the things that you can do to hopefully uh, get things more automatic. Now, is that going to work for everybody? The answer is no. It really depends on where you are in your spiritual evolution. If the universe or source needs you to attend to things, you know, whether it be being in that stillness or attending to your future reality, um, then, you know, then things are not going to be necessarily automatic because you need to learn you need to evolve but try it out and see how it works for you so check your minerals again <laughs> check your hydration again um and here's the nice thing the one message we did get that was really kind of cool was that with every ascension our energetic bodies become more consciously programmable if that's a word so um yes our subconscious minds have all these programs right but consciously programmable meaning that we have a better impact on the good things that we want to happen with our energetic bodies which then of course translates into healthier physical bodies as well and just in case you're like, okay, well, what's the energetic body? Well, you know, that includes your horror line, that big tube of power line that goes down your spine, your chakras, you know, the, the power um, transformers that are in the body that includes your auric layers. And it also includes your um, organs, glands, and cells on an energetic level. So say you have had um, I don't know, an ovary removed, you still have an energetic ovary. So if you test how happy your ovary is, you will get an answer, even if you don't have one, <laughs> because you have an energetic blueprint of every physical organ gland cell in your body. And if you, uh, if this is news to you, check out uh, on Google Images, type in Curlian Photography Cut Leaf Experiment. Curlian is K-I-R-L-I-A-N. I believe, Curlian Photography Cut Leaf Experiment. And in that experiment, you'll see that uh, in these photographs, you'll see the energy coming off the leaf. But when they cut a part of the leaf off, the energy of that form of leaf is still there, even though the cut, the, the physical leaf is gone. They believe that these 
what we call positive morphic fields uh, or blueprints are why salamanders can grow a brand new tail. We'd love to be able to say that for humans, not, not that we grow a tail, but that, <laughs> that we can grow back an arm or a leg or a finger or something like that. And maybe one day we will be able to do that just with our minds. Cool or cool. So a couple of announcements. Number one, Dr. Dennis Lobstein and I are going to be doing the show, the Life Wave uh, uh, Ask the Doctor show on Light Warrior uh, Radio on Monday, 12 noon Eastern. Uh, so some of you folks have gone through a time change recently. So just check timeanddate.com just to check what uh, time that is for your time zone. And we are going to discuss how to amplify spiritual alchemy. Um, you know, and meditation with the patches. So if you're one of the folks that are like, oh, I have a hard time meditating, I can't get still to save my life, blah, 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 right? Uh, then this may be really helpful for you to know how to put the patches in what configuration to amplify that effect. And I know now that if we can get into stillness easier and easier, we can manifest more of what we want and less of what we don't want. Cool or cool. Also, you should have on your calendar Tuesday, November 6th. Super, super exciting. I'm going to be interviewed on the U Wealth Telesummit, so U Wealth Revolution, and we are going to be doing an unveiling Unlock Your Superpowers 2.0. Oh, yes, 2.0. So this is an updated version of my two, my Unlock Your Superpowers program. And this is a free interview. So I'd love to have you there. We're doing many healings and many readings in the group process where I'll be downloading nine, maybe more than that by then, but nine prosperity frequencies that Source said is ready for downloading. Woohoo! If you can't come on live, it's 4 p.m. Eastern, but if you can't come on live, um, there is a replay as well. You just want to get on the mailing list uh, for... Uh, you wealth tell us summit and go to karencan.com forward slash you wealth all one word y-o-u w-e-a-l-t-h uh, get on their mailing list so you can get the replay uh, we'll also be emailing uh, everyone on my mailing mailing list uh, with a reminder as well um, so you can connect and hopefully we will be able to talk to you live on the show that'd be super fun and super exciting okay guys so have a wonderful rest of the week and by the way um, i gotta tell you my my sore throat it was so much better after i did that healing on the infiniverse uh, and the multiverse grid and getting my energetic bodies all in relationship with each other. I still have a little bit of post-nasal drip. Maybe you can kind of hear that, but um, overall feeling a lot better. I just need some sleep. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, uh, I look forward to connecting with you. And if you're not on Facebook, Light Warrior Network, check us out. And uh, I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.